Hello and welcome back. Well, it has been a very choppy, jittery day despite that intervention we saw by the Swiss Central Bank and the Japanese Central Bank. Not much has happened in both these currencies. The safe haven buying continues in them. The Indian rupee, though, declined to nearly five week lows during the day today. How is the week looking to end and what should you be doing in the next week? For that, let's go across to Abhishek Goenka. He is CEO, India Forex Advisors, and he joins us in Mumbai studios. Abhishek, hi, welcome to the hi. show. Let's start with what's happening in the international markets first and the safe haven is on. We've seen the commodity currencies which had been gainers come down to multi-month lows. I mean, it's been a total mayhem in the markets, I would guess. You know, yesterday night I was watching it and you know, it's been plunging the way it was in the 2008 and early 2009 levels. I guess uh, uh, after the debt ceiling uh, got passed, you know, and uh, the concerns have still not been out. And uh, the problems are accumulating in across each and every region of the world I would say it's in Euro, Euro, US, I think the commodity currencies which were highly highly overbought because of the interest rate differentials are getting sold now because you know they don't, they don't have any plans to raise rates again. China is slowing, India has been slowing you know. So I think across all the nations concerns are still there and with no better alternative the money is straight away going to the US dollar. If you look at the US uh, yields you know it's going to 2.46 percent, gone down by plus 3 percent. Mm -hmm. It's, it's nearing the 2008, early 2009 levels, you know. If you look at the volatility index, which measures the uh, fairness in the market, you know, which is also increased from 10% to 35% yesterday, which is which is very, very high, you know. That means people are very nervous in the market. And uh, we saw the reactions in the Asian markets today morning and now in the Indian markets are no good. I guess this, uh, this thing is going to continue for some time now, Manisha. How about the Indian rupee, Abhishek? Because that also declined quite sharply. We have down nearly a percentage from 43.86 kind of levels in the last week. Are you looking at further decline? See, with Indian rupee per se, the only factor, as we repeatedly mentioned earlier, was only the flows. Now, with respect to fundamentals, definitely things were not too great. Uh, you know, uh, uh, the only the flows, the $2 billion which came in actually pulled the rupee down by around a rupee. Yeah. And now if you see technically, you know, it's a very, very interesting pattern which I would like to mention. It's, it's a double bottom kind of a formation for, I mean, forming at around 43.80 levels. Uh, and uh, now the market since it's broken 44.50, I think, you know, trend line resistance of 45 uh, would be soon broken and would be heading towards 45, 30, 40. So I guess rupee... Seeing the kind of movement we are seeing in the dollar index and the euro and GBP across, I think rupee should be weak and heading to 45, 45, 20 very soon. How about the euro? Because the concerns there have continued. There is this uh, fear about longer or the bigger economies also getting into the route. I think, uh, you know, uh, even though the, the, the European Union has been buying the bonds and uh, creating cash for the banks to actually uh, uh, c c maintain the liquidity in the market, I guess the concerns are still there. If you look at their bond yields, especially these uh, Sp Spanish and the Italian bonds, they're hitting uh, Euro era, era highs, you know. So I guess the concerns are still too much. And uh, the, there's a huge reluctance by the ECB and the group members, nations like Germany and all to actually bail out these countries. So fundamentally, Euro is very much weak. So I guess we should target something around 1.35, 1.36 levels in a couple of months time in Euro. I think every rally in Euro should be sold in the market. All right, Abhishek, we'll let you go at that. Thank you so much for joining us. Sell every rally in Euro, 1.35 could come in there, but rupee also could depreciate. And as Abhishek is pointing out, 45, 30 kind of levels is what you can expect in the coming week or coming few days in that one. With that, it's wrap on this segment of Currency Call. Thank you for watching.